Building an upper arch on the nail. What exactly is the upper arch? Why is it important? And how do you do it? Right now on Nail School. All right, Tracy, upper arch. Talk to us about the details. The upper arch is where it comes out from the cuticle area and it's gonna go to the thickest part of the nail, which is the apex. If you don't do the structure correct, if you don't get the upper arch correct, then you're just gonna have breaking. Each length has a different spot where that upper arch is gonna lead into the apex. So we're gonna kinda go through short, medium, stiletto, show you exactly where that upper arch needs to start and stop. So we're gonna be working on three different sizes. We have a short, very active length, a medium length, and then we got a long length. So we're gonna go through how thick and how much of an upper arch and apex you need to do on each one of these. So this would be the active length. Now, I have a pretty natural upper arch, so we won't have to put a ton of product. It's nice and short, it doesn't need a lot of thickness, just a nice little overlay over the top. This is our medium length nail. Again, I have a pretty good upper arch myself, but because of the length, we need to start building up the upper arch a little further back to the apex where we're gonna have the bulk of the product and then taper it out to the tip. Now our longer nail, we're gonna start the upper arch even further back. We're gonna need more strength all the way through this part of the nail. And again, the apex area is gonna be our thickest part of the nail and that's gonna to have to have even more product so it's properly structured. So when we hit it, it's not gonna break. So a good rule of thumb is the longer the nail gets, the further back we're gonna start our arch so it can support the apex area so it's structurally sound. Now we're working on a short nail so we don't have to pick up a ton of product. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of product so we can do our short overlay. So I'm gonna grab our small amount of product. We're gonna place it down on the nail. I'm gonna push it to the cuticle. The finger is angled down so the product's running down towards the free edge and away from the cuticles. We're just gonna pull it out Not a ton of product. Nice and tapered to the front edge. And that nail is done. So what we've done here is we've applied a thin amount of product. Basically, we're just overlaying that active length natural nail. I already have a nice little support in my nail. We just brought the product straight out. Not too thick, not too thin, structurally sound. So now we're gonna uh, work on our medium length nail. So we're gonna pick up more product because we're going to need more product in this stress area. So I'm gonna keep more liquid on my brush, go to our powder, and pick up a larger size pearl. We're gonna place it down on the nail. I'm gonna walk it back to the cuticle area. Tag the sides. See how we got the thickness right here in the center where we need it? That stress area. Push it out. Bring the product out. Taper it in at the tip. So now we are working on our medium length nail. Again, I have a pretty good natural upper arch, but I've brought the product starting further back here and we're taking it to the stress area, making sure that we have enough thickness through here and then taper towards the tip. Again, the importance of having this here is when they hit it, it can take that force and not break right in that stress area. So now we're gonna work on our longer length. So we need to pick up even more product. So I'm barely gonna tap out the liquid. 
I'm going to put pressure down on that powder. The more pressure I apply, the more liquids released, the bigger pearl will get. Bringing it down again, we're letting gravity work for us, not against us, to bring that product to the stress area, and then we'll brush it out. I'm going to turn my nail this way and take a look from the side point of view. The reason you want to take a look from the side is it's very deceiving from the top. To me, looking at it this way, like I might need some product there, but it looks like I have enough product throughout the whole structure of the nail. Once I turn it sideways, I can really see where I'm missing product and where I need to apply. So the side view is a very important view. So I'm gonna pick up my second pearl. It's not going to be as big as the first one. I'm gonna look at the side. I can see where I need to place the pearl, butting it up right next to that apex. And then I'm going to turn it from the top so I can see exactly where to walk it out. Okay, so now we have applied the product to all three nails. We can take a look from a side point of view. We now have plenty of product coming from the back end of the nail all the way out, thinning it out to the tip. So we have the product in the stress area where we need the strength. Each nail has different amount of product, obviously on it, but enough product to make sure that each stress area is right for the length of the nail. So there can be some confusion about what's an upper arch, what's an apex, are they the same thing? The apex is the thickest part right at the stress area of your upper arch. So your upper arch is what gives that nice curve to the nail. The apex is right where you want it, structurally the thickest. So for me, this was a struggle. When I first came out of school, even six years into doing nails, this was a struggle. And it's the same principle whether you have tips or you're forming. You have to get the structure right so the nail doesn't break. As long as I have the product where it needs to be, especially in the upper arch, in the apex, then I'm good to go.